We welcome you to Las Vegas, where it is senior night tonight inside the Cox Pavilion as the Mountain West regular season comes to an end and a good one tonight as the Spartans of San Jose State take on the Lady Rebels. In this case, UNLV has done the second. And the Spartans make a run of their own. There's a nice finish on the scoop, Razia Potter. Basalo, a quiet first quarter, but maybe that'll kickstart the Mountain West leading scorer, Asiana Basalo. Rebound for Lewis. UNLV has led the whole way. That could change here, and it does. Megan Anderson, the sharpshooter from downtown. He has the expectations of a slightly bigger role tonight because Justice Etheridge not expected to play with a hand injury. As this corner three drops, well, Anderson now starting to feel it. She's hit 12 threes over her last five games, has, but now find themselves down by nine. In the first meeting, it was the road team who led going into the fourth. It looks like we could be on track for that again. Whitehead has taken over, and double double second in the conference in both those marks. Hafoka drills it from downtown. All of a sudden, nobody can miss for San Jose State. And R.J. Wade has etched her name in the history books. A first half double-double, 20th double-double of the season, tying a program record. But since then, it's been all Spartans. Hafoka, UNLV going into the trap defense, but San Jose State just gets it across. Good look in the corner. Marquez buries the triple. 10th three tonight for the conference's best three-point shooting team, and they have won that battle, Amy. To kickstart the Spartan offense. Whitehead has been great as well. Goes to work on Blount, and gets the friendly roll. And it's kept alive by Blount right to Hafoka of San Jose State. Good finish by Hafoka. This one will come to an end. It was a slow start for the Spartans. But San Jose State, a big late push, starting from the second quarter on, as they come back from down 15 to knock off UNLV, 76-63 inside the Cox Pavilion. We'll step aside.